All right, I'm standing on top of the QEW at the eastern edge of the town of Lincoln in the Niagara region. There's a reason why I'm actually standing here. This is Victoria Avenue, and this is where you'll get off if you want to come and see a certain place which is located by the highway. Over 200,000 vehicles travel along this QEW on a daily basis in the summer months. And most of those motorists would have noticed one thing at the side of the highway, a landmark that clearly stands out like a sore thumb. So today I finally got off the highway and I'm gonna go and check this, uh, this landmark out. So come and join me. My name is Nigel Hay. This is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and this is Niagara. I've just got off the QEW. Uh, the QEW is right beside me here, as you can see on the other camera. Um, I'm now on the North Service Road. The North Service Road is the one closest to Lake Ontario, and the South is on the other side, of course. There's a reason why I'm here. With its listing mass and crow's nest visible from the highway and the service road, this is the shipwreck of the QEW. This is Jordan Harbour and this is home to this very eerie landmark which over the years has had many people asking the question what is it, how did it get here and what actually happened to it? This is what we're here to see, this shipwreck. When you see this ship, a lot of uh, things spring to mind. A lot of people think of the Goonies. Then there's also, is it the ghost ship? Or is it just simply abandoned ship? Me personally, I keep thinking of Captain Pugwash for some reason. Cue Captain Pugwash. <laughs> Her name is La Grande Hermine, but she's not the original. The original La Grande Hermine was one of three ships from the 1500s that brought Jacques Cartier to Canada where he discovered the estuary of the St. Lawrence River. While the original did not survive into the modern day, a replica was built for the Montreal's 1967 Expo event. This one, which is not this one. The vessel was first called the SS Le Progress in its first life being a steam ferry back in 1914. Then she became the SS La Verandry in 1930. In 1956, she was converted into a coaster with diesel propulsion, carrying pulpwood up the St. Lawrence River and her name became La Marge Jolaine. In the mid-1970s, she was that she was then sold to become a turbo on the Sigourney River and in 1982, she was transformed into a floating restaurant, but it was not a success and she remained inactive. That was until 1991 when she was transformed. The 140-foot hull was outfitted with a wood veneer that converted it into the second replica of Le Grand Hermine, the largest of the three ships used by Jacques Cartier. Once again, she was being used as a floating restaurant, but again, this experience was not a success and she was sold again. The ship came to Jordan Harbour in 1997 while on its way to Chippewa in Niagara Falls with the intention of being turned into another restaurant or a form of casino by a businessman who unfortunately passed away before he could see his dream come true. He was awaiting permission along with lack of funds, which is why the ship was docked at Jordan Harbour for so long. In January of 2003, it was a victim of an arson fire. Luckily, the entire La Grande Hermine didn't go up in smoke, and its damage and rustic look actually adds to photographs that now gives it more of a wonderment behind the history of this curious shipwreck. 
It is now a distinctive Niagara landmark and favourite roadside attraction to many people that have travelled along the QEW. As you can see from the ship behind me now, the, uh, the veneer that was placed on it back in the mid 90s is virtually all but gone now. There's only a few little pieces of it left and now it's just it's a steel hull that is left, which is the original ship, which was built in 1914, a steel hull vessel. And uh, yeah, due to the uh, fire back in 2003 and all the storms they've had here over the years, the ship has just, rotted away it is eerie and i can understand why people from the qew uh, see it and want to pull off and find out what it is because it's, it's very unusual to have just a ship in a harbor like this because there's nothing else here well apart from the ship there isn't much else down here to be quite honest uh, it's worth looking at it's a photographer's dream really it's some uh you can get some nice shots depending on the weather, that's for certain. Uh, but apart from that, there's nothing else here. Uh, this is the uh, harbour, uh, Jordan Harbour, the marina. Right now it is winter, there's no boats here. And there's no ice, so there's no ice fishing either. Uh, but come the summer months, the whole area before the boats, no doubt, uh, you can launch a boat from here. And just to think, that uh, shipwreck, La Grand Hermaine, sailed right through that entranceway over 20 years ago and it's been there ever since all right that is it for today's video thank you very much for watching this has been the shipwreck of the qew the Le grand hermine Le grand humane however you want to pronounce it i thank you very much for watching i hope you find it factual i hope you've learned something if you've really enjoyed the video i kindly ask that you share it with other people who've always questioned what this ship is on the qew uh I'd be more than happy if you share it until my next video i'd like to thank you very much for watching please make sure you like and subscribe and i'll be back very very soon with either another this is niagara a storm video or an aviation related one it's going to be one of the three until then take care see you all very soon thanks